It's a hard life at sea, but this happy crew, well, they love every minute, all friends together. People from all over the world working as one. They may come from different lands, but it's the seafaring life that brings them together. Can we stop all this now? Stop it? Why? Why? Well, that's not how it is. I mean, not all the time. And not on every ship, that's for sure. So, what is it like? On board? Well... A lack of respect sometimes. Respect for people's dignity. Misunderstandings. Intolerance. Prejudice. And sometimes fear. Today, most of the world's merchant fleet is staffed by multinational crews, typically working out of ports not in their own country. In many cases, they are deliberately put together with crew members of different ranks and from different parts of the world, assembled by networks of agencies. But although there is an increasing recognition that cultural differences need to be understood and respected, problems still occur. Perhaps the biggest problem of all is the fact that a lack of cultural awareness, the misunderstandings, the assumptions and the prejudice can cause accidents and loss of life. They can also cause millions of dollars worth of damage, not just to vessels, cargo and the environment, but also to reputations. But putting culture itself to one side for a moment, Problems often arise because of simple language difficulties. There are over 6,000 recognized spoken languages around the world, and there could easily be at least half a dozen spoken on board. So making sure we understand what we are being told is vital. But what do we do if we don't understand? And does what we do and the way that we do it depend on the kind of people we are and where we come from? In other words, is this a cultural thing? Mm -hmm.